parking lot. So a lot of times when you come here, there is major tour buses, tour buses, tour buses, people everywhere. Arrived. Welcome to the famous Essen House. Anybody that's been up here will ask you if you've ate here. And so, now we can say yeah. we have. I, you have, yeah, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to How Indiana. We're not in How Indiana. It doesn't look like How. Nice try. <laughs> Looks like How. No. No. Not, no. No corn. No corn. <laughs> there is no corn. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. We had a good time in How. We did. It was it was pretty cool. Yep. We met so many cool people. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So you've already seen the DRV factory tour. That's right. That was that was really neat. That was that was pretty fun. He knew what he was talking about, Kyle yep. did, didn't he? Kyle did a good job. Yeah. And then of course, Alicia and Slade were there. I know. Slade stayed a couple of days and then he went home and Alicia mm -hmm. stuck around to be our tour guide. And what an amazing tour guide. Oh my gosh. If you need to know anything about anything, she knows it. She knows everything. She'll figure it out for you. <laughs> she has been such a great friend and such an amazing tour guide. I yeah. just, I love her. But she took us in the next day and we got a chance and opportunity to meet some of the office folks at DRV. We did. Uh, Sean James. Um, yeah. We met... Uh, Leslie from mm -hmm. marketing, she uh, she got together with us and talked to us about uh, being ambassadors, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, she also took us in and introduced us to Andrea. Oh, man, she has the best job. You walk into her office and it's it's countertops and wallboard and carpet and material oh material just drapes unbelievable yeah. sconces and lighting <clears throat> everything you know what a great job that would be to have yeah she gets to design the interior of those coaches and mm -hmm. uh, she's pretty good at what she does and she, is. she gave us some some look into the new stuff coming in drv <sighs> the upcoming stuff and it's beautiful it is she's it's, done a really good job of, of designing it's exciting it is it's exciting the new stuff that they're bringing out but we can't tell you no nope. because it's a secret <laughs> <laughs> yeah super secret so we, we finished up at DRV and had a great time, and then Alicia wanted to show us the area. Uh, there's a lot to do there in... Oh, Shipshawana. Shipshawana and Elkhart and mm -hmm. Howe, and that whole that whole area right there is, is all RV related. And uh, she set us up with uh, a tour at Moride. Yeah. So this is our service department here. Um, this is where we actually do uh, all of our uh, customer installs. Um, most of what we do here is the independent suspension system, although we do service all of our suspension systems here. Um, the process is typically, customers will bring their unit in here for uh, two actual trailers, usually a two-day install. They, they strip down everything that's underneath. They take out the axles, the leaf springs, the frame hangers, and we go down to that bare frame, and then we install the independent suspension system, usually with a disc brake upgrade, all at the same time. So while they're here, customers, um, you know, will park their unit here. A lot will come the day before and stay in our customer lot over here. Um, so we have electric hookups there. Customers will come camp out the day before. And they get started usually pretty early in the morning, the day of their appointment. Um, so they usually start knocking on those doors at about six in the morning. Um, get some measurements while it's connected to the customer's truck so we know what height it needs to be at. And then they bring it in here and actually start the work. Um, our processes are a little bit different right now because of COVID, um, but typically we have a customer lounge that customers just relax in during the day while it's being worked on. We have leather, leather couches, cable TV, uh, Wi-Fi. We feed you lunches on the day that you're here. We try to make that as comfortable as possible. And then uh, overnight while it's being worked on, most customers actually just stay in their unit. We have electric hookups here on the inside. So we just give access to the shop, we just camp out here, and then they start again the next day. And, Usually finish up with the appointment by about noon. We got to see subscribers. We got to meet them. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, after just before the tour, we ran into some some subscribers of ours that were having yeah. some work done on their coach there. Mm -hmm. I think they were having the IS put on the independent suspension put on their fifth wheel. 
And uh, so that was pretty fun. And then we got a factory tour and I'm sorry to say it, it was so noisy it in there and everybody had to wear masks. Because they wouldn't stop producing for us, you know? <laughs> I mean, they kept working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but we did get an opportunity to, to shoot some footage and um, it was just, it, it, I, they do a whole lot more than I had ever known. Yeah. And they don't just have the one plant. They've got multiple plants, we found out. I mean, they make not only the independent suspensions, but they make... Um, they make the storage doors on Class A's, uh, the insulated storage doors. They make um, the kingpins for fifth wheels, yeah. uh, you know, that are that are the suspended uh, kingpins. They make brackets. They make, oh my gosh, it just was amazing. I, I had no idea. No, no. And what a clean shop that was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was go, go, go in that whole shop. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, if you have, if you're ever in the Elkhart area, I would suggest you try to get a tour at, at uh, Moride because yeah. it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And then uh, Alicia, she um, wanted to take us to lunch, so we went to lunch at the Essen House. Mm -hmm. So the Essen House, uh, as you could see, is uh, an Amish family type, family style restaurant. Yes. Um, and it was. It was great food. Right. So it, apparently it's real popular. Yes. They also had a, um, a buffet that, that was open that we, you, could, you could go yeah. to, but yeah. we decided to, to not. And apparently they also have a dinner theater, but we did not partake in the dinner theater. I'm not even sure they were running it because of COVID. Right. I don't know. And then Alicia took us to the RV Hall of Fame. That was pretty darn cool. Where are we going, Alicia? RV Hall of Fame. Yay! Oh, we're so excited! The Hall of Fame for RVs in Elkhart. Elkhart, Indiana. Alrighty. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff in there, a lot of old stuff in there, things I'd like to hook on and leave with. But <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Alright. And then we're going for some Amish crack after that. Oh. I, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Heck yeah. I have my stretchy pants on. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> and my long shirt to cover my stretchy pants. <laughs> <laughs> We're set. We're set. All right, we are turning in and we are gonna, we go. we're gonna have you follow along with us.
The Amish community in the Elkhart, Shipshawana area is, uh, is a cute little community. You know, we've seen the Amish community up in the Pennsylvania area, the Hershey area in that right. area, but right. uh, I had no idea that they had an Amish community there in Shipshawana and, and Elkhart. It is big, it is so big, and their farms yeah. are breathtaking. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah. They just, they're, they take pride in their, in their places. A lot of craftsmanship there, mm -hmm. a lot of cabinet makers, furniture makers, that yes. sort of thing. Yeah. We went to a little mall there in uh, Shipshawana, uh, a little, I don't know, it was like a four-story old mm -hmm. building of some sort that mm -hmm. they turned into a mall. That was kind of cool. And then Alicia took us for some Amish crack. <laughs> what is it called? What was that place called? Rise and Roll Bakery. Rise and Roll Bakery. The Rise and Roll Bakery in Delhi. Amish crack, baby. Cinnamon, caramel. Yeah. Donuts, Amish crack. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> or our crack holes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, man, the pastries were amazing. Yeah, if you go there, you need to get some. We had, we bought a box of holes, the donut holes. And oh my goodness, I was kind of concerned because we're eating them all. <laughs> and it's not, you know, I mean, it's, not as healthy as you know an apple so we got a chance to to sample some of the baked goods there at rise and roll bakery so all in all we had a great time in the uh, elkhart howe ship area beautiful beautiful country um again more corn that than i care to see in a lifetime but <laughs> it was pretty cool <laughs> more corn the horse-drawn carriages yes. uh, just the the culture the businesses that were around there, the RV Hall of Fame, we just had a blast and it was it was a really fun trip. We uh, we got ready to leave and got a phone call from Aaron and Tina from Jones and to Travel and they had picked up their new to them HDT. Yes. And Aaron wanted to put it to the test and he says, what are you guys doing? And we told him, well, we're up here in Northern Indiana and we're gonna start heading up in Michigan. And he says, you mind if we tag along? And so we said, of the course. more the merrier. <laughs> so we waited a few days for them to show up and he's got, you know, that, that DRV full house that uh, he had some issues with, uh, some maintenance things that he wanted done. And so he stopped by and had the DRV factory uh, take care of those things. Mm -hmm. And man, oh man, if you guys ever get an opportunity to go through their maintenance facility and have something done, <clears throat> what a great bunch of people. Yes. He had some work done and then we started to head north. Uh, so stick around, more to follow on the Michigan journey. So we had a great time in Indiana. We did. We did. I'd love to go back. We need to go back. Yeah. Yeah. Go through Elkhart more. Yep. Yeah. It's a really cool place, guys, and it's just an RVer's dream come true because there are so many manufacturers in one place, and you could go through and, and tour all of the factories, I'm sure, if you wanted to. Yes, things are opening up, so yeah. they're opening up their tours, yeah. which is good. So if you ever have an opportunity to go to, to Shipshawana and Howe and that area, um, boy, by all means, and then go take a look at that, that RV Hall of Fame. It was, it was really a lot of fun. Yeah. So we enjoyed our time in, in Indiana and we're gonna start heading north next week into we Michigan. We are. You get to go see visit a, a good friend of yours. I haven't seen her in 35 years, my girlfriend Barb. Again, that's one of the fun things about this lifestyle is we get to see people that we haven't seen in years and years and yeah. we get to crisscross the country and see different people. And, Absolutely. And uh, that was a lot of fun. So stick around for that next week. So from not how Indiana. <laughs> it all starts with an idea. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.